Another part of um, Pythagorean theorem is something called Pythagorean triples. This is where um, all three sides of a right triangle are whole numbers. So when I have 3, 4, 5, this is called a Pythagorean triple. Because I'm basically, when I square 3 and 4 and add them together, 9 plus 16, I'll end up getting 25. Well, since this is a Pythagorean triple, if I take any multiples of those three, I will end up with, I will take, I will take any multiple of those three, and I will get another um, Pythagorean triple. Same thing with 5, 12, and 13. If I take any multiple of those three, I will get a Pythagorean triple. So notice, if I multiply everything by 2, I'll get the second row. If I multiply everything by 3, I'll get the third row. Okay, and another Pythagorean triple would be 8, 15, and 17. There's a few others, 7, 24, and 25. So this is just a special little rule that helps it, makes it easy for us to identify if this is a right triangle. I know when I see a triangle that says 3, 4, and 5, that I end up with a Pythagorean trip. That that is a Pythagorean. That is a right triangle. Sorry about that. Okay.